good morning guys so uh, this uh, video will talk about uh, goal seek feature which is which is available in what if analysis and i have already uploaded uh, three videos on the same and you can go and watch uh, uh, under my playlist what if analysis and there will be three videos uploaded there by the time you will be watching so watch out those videos and uh, it actually we have started you know from the very basic level so first two videos are actually talking about the very base basic questions and uh, how you can use the goal seek there and then the third video is uh, intermediate level and this video again is going to be there on the you know intermediate level so this time i have a question here uh, so we have let's say you know um, 1000 fruits and uh, we want to actually uh, divide them you know among people so that they can be consumed uh, you know uh, within uh, some time frame you know some particular time frame actually so what I have s said here is that the number of counts will not change it will remain as it is and time taken to eat one fruit you know uh, in minutes is actually five minutes of time right so what we need to do is uh, we need to cover this target in 15 minutes we want to eat these thousand apples in 15 minutes right so we want to actually check so how many people we would be requiring to you know get these eaten up in 15 minutes of time right given the fact that one fruit will take five minutes of time so i have developed a formula here which is quite simple actually i have multiplied thousand fruits with the time you know uh, being taken to eat one fruit uh, which is five so it is actually going to give me the five thousand minutes which would i require in order to complete this one thousand fruit now five thousand minutes is the overall my target which i am actually supposed to achieve in 15 minutes right so in 15 minutes as you know that one person can't do that because one person will have only 15 minutes and fi in 15 minutes he will not be able to give this much of uh, you know minutes wi which which is exactly 5000 minutes so what i did is i divided this 5000 minutes by with the time which i have available and it is telling me that i need to have 333 people so that when 30 333 people uh, can you know come together and start eating the apples provided that each apple is you know going to take uh, this five minutes of time uh, in this 15 minutes of time you know these uh, 333 people will give overall 5000 minutes which is exactly I require to you know get these fruits eaten up right so that's the logic we build here and now what we actually want to do is uh, we want to check that uh, if somehow due to some constraint I don't have these many people right so I have a list of let's say 150 people I know that you know I can call them and uh, so 150 people means that obviously it is going to uh, give me just this much of time which is 2250 minutes which is you know quite lesser than this uh, the minutes which I actually require which is you know 5000 minutes so what I decided is since I can't actually have more people and I can't reduce the fruit count so I decided to reduce the target I decided that you know people I should encourage I should motivate my people that you know the instead of eating it up in five minutes they should actually uh, reduce it you know they should try to eat it maybe in four minutes maybe in three and a half minutes whatever you know so this is what we are going to achieve uh, with the help of this uh, what if analysis so I'll go to the what if analysis go to the goal seek option and uh, I'll say that this 333 is something which I can't afford so I have just 150 people with me but I what I surely want is that I can reduce the time you know so targeting on this by changing cell B2 I can press OK and let's see okay so this is actually has given me a wonderful result so goal seek said that you need to then reduce your time by 2 minutes 25 seconds right so if you do that if you can do that 2.2 you can exactly maintain or maybe you know we can take this on an average we'll just do this so we'll take this just a you know round number actually not the average uh, 
my mistake so now whatever the time you'll get you know as you see that 150 people i can invite them and i can you know motivate them that the target is now exactly two minutes of time so please wrap up your you know fruit in just two minutes of time so this is how exactly i can actually you know accomplish my task so this is where guys you know a uh, goal seek feature actually comes very handy you really don't have to do so much of calculations so much of experimentation with your data uh, so much of kind of analysis that you keep on reducing the numbers here and you can keep on checking you know that what exactly is giving me for example uh, if i say that uh, you know in order to get the uh, let's say i have uh, 125 people only so what exactly is going to be my time taken so obviously you'll do some this kind of a stuff you know you'll say here that okay let me press one and then i'll see okay so one gives me 67 so maybe i'll go ahead and i'll do 1.2 and this is going to give me the you know 80 and then further i go and i say 1.5 so it is going to give me this you know uh, let me just uh, change this back to decimal so that now 1.5 is uh, you know one minute and five seconds is something which is required and i still have a target of 125 people so i'll s go ahead and i'll add 1.7 and then similarly you know I, i'll add 1.8 till i reach you know to this level which is now here i have reached so i would maybe would say 8.1 8.2 and maybe further i increase it to let's say five you know so so on you know you can keep on doing your these calculations until you arrive at this point so in order to work on you know in a better way you have actually a goal seek feature so what it does is let me just come back to my previous position which is this simply go ahead and uh, you know go to the what if analysis so just put this set cell c2 and you know that the manpower is 125 you have 125 people so just select the by changing cell time taken to each one fruit so you click on this option and now this is what exactly it has given you so if you go here you see that it is actually 1.87 right so you don't have to do so much of calculations uh you know keep on repeating the same stuff again and again until you arrive your desired number you just can use actually you know what if analysis and it will actually do all the permutation and combinations for you in just fraction of seconds right so that's that's going to be my you know this was the video number four on the what if analysis i'll upload some more videos on the that so watch that and if you like the video just don't forget to click on the like and guys you can subscribe to my channel as well there are around now 85 videos which i have uploaded and i must tell you that you know uh, since these videos are directly according you know based on your questions and since your questions were always so powerful and so you know uh, uh, they were actually very great questions so every video is uh, unique you know in, in its own and uh, i must tell you you watch any video and you will actually you know get you gain something out of it it's not a some kind of a regular video you will definitely love watching them i must tell you and it's not going to be a wastage of your time right so write me in as usual you keep on writing me thanks for your support and thanks for your uh, viewership i see that you know day by day i'm getting a lot of subscribers and a lot of people actually are watching the videos and uh, i'm also getting a lot of uh, you know clicks on the like so i really appreciate that and the credit goes to you guys because i keep on getting the emails wonderful emails and what i do is i just simply go ahead and you know upload the videos in order to support you in your you know office environment or wherever you're working i mean you know so that's it for now guys and uh, i'll come up with uh, some more videos till then stay fit and have a very very good day bye bye